This week on The Wire, vendors happy with sale prices, rental markets tighten nationwide, and home builder boost new home sales. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Let's kick it off with our top story for this week, vendors happy with sale prices. So Australians are happier now with the prices they received when they sold their home than they were a year ago. And this is according to new research. So Rate My Agent's half yearly price expectation report from January to June 2020 asked 33,000 successful vendors if the sale price achieved was above, below or in line with their expectations. Results showed an increase in satisfaction year on year with overall net happiness up 12% from June 2019 to June 2020. Although vendor price satisfaction fell in March and April when compared to the same period year on year, April 2020 still reported an 8% increase. Now, the stabilisation can be linked to a fall in property supply in April when buyers had to compete for a reduced number of properties and the return of consumer confidence. Now, this has kept prices stable, improving vendor sale price satisfaction. So, Rate My Agent CEO and co founder Mark Armstrong says the return of consumer confidence is largely attributed to various government stimulus packages like Home Builder, Job Seeker, and Job Keeper. Now, for our next story. So, <coughs> excuse me, rental markets tighten nationwide. So residential vacancies in outer suburbs and regional areas fell sharply in June as professionals avoid their inner city units because of the coronavirus and the ability to work from home. So the SQM Research July report showed a drop in vacancies in all capital cities except for Melbourne where it rose by 0.1 percentage point to 3%. Most capital cities have vacancy rates below 1.5%, but vacancies in the CBDs remain high. Brisbane was 13%, Sydney 13.2%, and Melbourne 8.8%. By contrast, vacancies in regional New South Wales Blue Mountains region fell to 1%, its lowest level in 10 years. And on the New South Wales Central Coast, vacancies fell from 1.1% to 2.1% uh, sorry, to from 2.7% in December, while empty rentals on Queensland's Sunshine Coast have fallen to 0.7%, a drop from 1.8% December. Now the latest vacancy report from the REIQ shows that some Queensland towns are having their tightest rental markets on record. REIQ CEO Antonia Meccarella says the latest figures show the state overall is facing the tightest rental conditions since the GFC. Now for our final story of the week, home builder boosts new home sales. So sales of new homes have risen significantly because of the federal government's home builder stimulus package, and this is according to the Housing Industry Association analysis. Now the onset of the pandemic in March saw new home sale uh, saw the new home sales market and consumer confidence fall drastically, but in the two months following June, the June announcement of the six hundred and sixty eight million dollar grants package, sales numbers rose sixty four percent compared to the two months prior. Now Chief Economist at the HR Tim Reardon says the $25,000 grant to eligible new residential homes, together with the improving health conditions and easing of most restrictions across most jurisdiction, jurisdictions, caused the confidence in the market to improve. Now, WA is the biggest beneficiary of the grants program, supported by affordable housing and additional state government assistance. Its sales have risen 171% since the June announcement. South Australia was another strong performer through the period, recording a 142% increase, followed by Queensland up 42%, Victoria up 40%, and New South Wales up 10%. Well guys, they're the top stories for this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.